Hey folks, welcome to Hate Me Grilling. Now tonight we're gonna stay here in the kitchen. We're gonna make some easy beef enchiladas. So let's get started. All right, folks, next we're gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil into a skillet. Put our olive oil in here. We're gonna bring our heat up to a medium to medium high heat. Next, I'm gonna add four teaspoons of minced garlic, or you could add four cloves of garlic, whichever you prefer. And we're gonna take, and I took half an onion and run it through the processor to get it good and diced up. We're gonna add that to our skillet. What we're gonna do now is we're just gonna saute these onions and this garlic here, kind of work it around the skillet. And we're gonna saute this for about three minutes, stirring it occasionally, or until they start to really become fragrant. Next, we're gonna add one pound of ground beef into the skillet. And then we're gonna add one teaspoon of ground cumin. Next, we're gonna break our ground beef up and cook, brown it and kind of stir that seasoning in, get it well incorporated with our ground beef and our onions and our garlic. Ground beef is over there cooking. I'm gonna take a nine by 13 baking dish and I've got half a cup worth of red enchilada sauce. I'm just gonna pour this into the bottom of my nine by 13 and then to get it evened out. This is how I like to even it out. I'm sure there's other ways, but this here works for me. Now we're just gonna wait. Now that our ground beef is cooked, we're gonna take one can, now I did drain them. We're gonna take one can of pinto beans. We're gonna add that into the skillet. Stir that around. We're gonna take one four ounce can of diced green chilies and add these in here. And we're gonna stir this all in together. Get it all nice and incorporated. All right, folks, I do believe we're ready to start creating these enchiladas. So we're gonna lay us a tortilla out here on a flat surface. And I'm gonna come back with about two tablespoons worth of enchilada sauce. Kind of spread that out a little bit. All right, next thing we're gonna do is I got me another spoon here. We're gonna grab us a heaping spoonful of this. We're gonna add it into the center, just like that. And we're gonna come over the top of that. Now I've got some Fiesta blend cheese. You can use whatever kind of cheese you would like. We're gonna come in, sprinkle some cheese along the top of our filling. And then we're just gonna roll this. Like so. And then once they're rolled together, I'm gonna, uh oh, uh oh. We're gonna put it seam side down, down into our baking dish. So I ended up having to use two uh, nine by 13s. So what I'm gonna do, I got about a third of this enchilada sauce left. I'm gonna try my best to pour it evenly. We're just gonna kind of drizzle it over the top here. Come back with what I've got left of the cheese here. I just really wanna kind of Sprinkle me a thin, even layer of cheese on to the top of these. All right, so now they're ready to go in the oven at 350 degrees uncovered for 20 minutes. Just pulled our enchiladas out of the oven and cheese is melted beautifully. The tortilla is good and crispy or maybe crunchy, but we're gonna give these just a moment to cool. All righty. Oh, beautiful little enchilada there. Now this here, folks, is where the options are limitless. I mean, it's already got the cheese on it. It's got that uh, enchilada sauce baked on the top. But you can literally come back with anything you want. You want some red onion, throw it on there, tomatoes, cilantro, uh, jalapenos. But I'm gonna come back, this is that uh, Gordo's cheese dip. I'm gonna come back with some of that Gordo's. I'm just gonna kind of drizzle it along the top here. All right, folks, so I've got my enchiladas on here. Got me some refried beans, some rice. All right, folks, I'm about to give it that all important taste test. I got me a good pizza enchilada here. Down the old hatch. Hmm. Well, folks, that was really good. Uh, somebody suggested a while back, or a couple weeks ago, that I start doing like a rating system on recipes that I cook. And so from a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give us one a seven. Very good, but I don't think I would do the beans in it next time. 
uh, just kind of threw it off for me a little bit. Uh, sounded good on the recipe I found, but for my liking, uh, I think either that or I would have cooked them longer prior to uh, adding them in with the ground beef. Not quite as soft as I like beans to be, uh, but like I said, I probably wouldn't even put beans in it the next time I make it. Everything but the beans, uh, but very good. And it really didn't take long. Uh, the longest part was filling all the burritos or the enchiladas and then getting them placed into the baking dish. But as far as cook time, uh, about 40, 45 minutes is all it took. So another pretty good, easy, quick, quick, easy meal for the, any night of the week. So y'all please let me know what you think of the video. Y'all please like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all later.